You're watching The Source, WLUK TV 11. This is WLUK's News 11 tonight, live from Green Bay, Appleton, the Lake Shore, and throughout the Fox Valley, with Marty Spatel, John Bigland, John Granato with sports, John Chandick with weather, and on the scene reports from the News 11 team. If we and the Soviet leaders take the right steps, some on our own, some on their own, some together, we can dramatically shrink the arsenal of the world's nuclear weapons. Good evening. President Bush tonight announcing dramatic moves to lower nuclear tensions. Among the president's goals is the elimination of all ground launch short-range nuclear weapons. Bush also offered that U.S. naval forces will not, under normal circumstances, carry tactical nuclear weapons and asked the Soviets to agree to that as well. There is every reason for the Soviet Union to match our actions by removing all tactical nuclear weapons from its ships and attack submarines, by withdrawing nuclear weapons for land-based naval aircraft, and by destroying many of them and consolidating what remains at central locations. Bush's initiative marks one of the most comprehensive changes in U.S. nuclear strategy since the start of the nuclear arms race in the early 1950s. The standoff between 44 U.N. inspectors and Iraqi soldiers is over tonight. The nuclear inspection team had been detained in a Baghdad parking lot for four days. They were being held because they uncovered information about Iraq's secret nuclear weapons program. During their detention, Iraqis surrounded the parking lot shouting anti-U.S. and anti-U.N. slogans. The inspectors are being granted their freedom and will keep the control of the sensitive documents. Three Milwaukee residents are counting their blessings tonight. Their scaffolding collapsed while they washed windows on the 22nd floor of the Bank One building. A few wires and ropes separated them from the ground. Rescuers managed to drop down from the roof and pull the workers to safety through an open window. The experience was a genuine close call. A seven-week surveillance operation paid off for Valley Police tonight. Police arrested 35-year-old Urban Hubert Jr. and charged him with arson. Authorities say Hubert has been involved in several fires in the Menasha Appleton area this summer. Hubert's preliminary hearing is scheduled for October 2nd in Appleton. The Supreme Court nomination of Clarence Thomas is going to the full Senate, but not with flying colors. The Senate Judiciary Committee today deadlocked in a 7-7 to seven vote, sending the nomination on with no recommendation. But both supporters and opponents predict Thomas will eventually be confirmed to succeed their good marshal. Tomorrow night, some lucky person could be $25 million richer. WLUK News 11's Barbara Conniff shows us the rush to buy megabucks. If someone in Wisconsin gets lucky, it would be the second largest jackpot won in the state. Here at Grand Central Station, they're selling five times as many tickets as they normally would sell if only a $2 million pot was on the line. Tomorrow night, especially on the draw night, we get extremely busy and we'll have one additional person that does nothing but sell lottery tickets. Tomorrow, lottery officials expect to move more than 6,000 tickets a minute statewide. And if the one you bought is a winner? First of all, I would have to pick myself up off the floor and try to realize I really won. I think maybe the first thing I would do is give some to the, um, the widow of the man who died last week when they took it away from him. Some folks are buying anywhere from 5 to 100 tickets trying to better the odds. I figure when it gets this high, I'll take four more sh shots at it. The odds of matching all six numbers are about 1 in 13 million. Good luck. In Green Bay, Barbara Conniff for The Source, WLUK News 11 tonight. 1 in 13 million, that's worth a buck. It's worth a buck. I'm not making any plans to spend the money yet. That's I'm not going to sure. go stand in line to buy tickets, no. No. <laughs> Still ahead on News 11 tonight, a Green Bay man undergoes a rare surgery and is glad to be alive to talk about it. And the Michigan Art Museum is riding the rails in the UP. Couldn't ask for a better night for high school football. We've got all the highlights and scores coming your way in the fifth quarter. Stay tuned. And for football fans and flowers alike, the chill is on tonight. Warmer air, though, is winding its way our way. We'll talk about that in just a little while. Architects. We entrust them to build the places where we live and work. 
to make them at once functional and beautiful. Which may be why when it comes to windows, the brand architects recommend most is Pella. Check the yellow pages for the Pella window store nearest you. Attention new truck buyers, this is an official marketing test. Broadway Chevrolet's making an offer never before made it in 75-year history. Every remaining 91 Chevy truck is priced at invoice, and you keep the factory rebates. Let me repeat, every 91 S10 full-size pickup, two- and four-door blazer, Astrovan, and APV is priced at invoice, and you keep the factory rebate. Take advantage of this marketing strategy that may change the way all new trucks are sold. You may never buy for less, but you must buy before Monday at Broadway in Green Bay. Who's gonna give you the tops in great taste? Dairy Queen. Who's gonna give you a treat so cool it's hot? Who's gonna give you the original Blizzard flavor treat? With all your favorite fruit and candy flavors, like Butterfinger Candy, Heat Bar, and Oreo. The Dairy Queen Blizzard, it's so right for right now. We treat you right. Dairy Queen. So many meetings, constant revisions, work never ending, deadlines, decisions, but one to one, we're all connected. In business, the most effective people are never far from their phones, because staying connected helps build relationships that build business, any business. We're all connected. To stay on top, stay in touch. A Green Bay man is looking back on two years of living with brain cancer tonight. The future looks much brighter thanks to experimental brain surgery he underwent in Illinois. WLUK News 11's Mitch Hank was on hand to bring us the latest in his war on cancer. 29-year-old Chuck Dolly may be in the dark for a while. He underwent experimental brain surgery a week ago Thursday. A procedure which sensitizes cancerous brain cells to light then kills them with lasers. The 10-hour surgery was the most extensive form of photodynamic therapy ever performed in the United States. The risks were enormous, but Chuck hopes the benefits will be far greater. I'm going to go home and I'm going to wrestle with my son. And by spring, I'll be teaching him how to throw a ball. Chuck is only the 11th person to undergo photodynamic surgery in the United States. Each operation has been conducted at Loyola University Hospital outside Chicago. Chuck's surgery is unprecedented because more fiber optic probes and lasers were used on him than anyone else. He could have lost his eyesight, had been permanently disabled on the right side of his face. Instead, he lost only some of the peripheral vision in his left eye. Chuck's surgeon says time and more tests will determine how complete his recovery will be. Now the real waiting starts and the real watching starts to see how this tumor will respond over the next several months. Chuck and his wife Tina hope to return to Green Bay Sunday night and see their four-month-old son Charlie. I may not live to be an old man, but, but I'll live to see my son grow up. And maybe this winter I can even get him to help shovel the driveway. With help from medical science and a lot of faith, Chuck hopes to be there for his son's wedding and beyond. At Loyola Hospital near Chicago, Mitch Hank for the source, WLUK News 11. <laughs> Photodynamic therapy received approval for cancer treatment in August from the FDA. He has an amazing attitude about life, doesn't That's he? That's got to give him a big jump on recovery, you'd think. You I bet. think it will. Well, tonight's big click comes from David Peck of Nina, capturing a shot of man's best friend. That's the one on the right with the floppy ears. <laughs> News 11 tonight will continue. <laughs> This cheese, blue cheese, Monterey Jack, mozzarella, red rhine Munster, noble cheddar, full moon Colby. The best cheeses anywhere are made right here in Wisconsin, and Century selected only the finest of these fine cheeses to become Century brand. They're out of this world! Century brand means good food costs less at Century. a reflection of who you are. Then the beautiful new 
Toyota Camry will say a lot for you. The all-new 1992 Toyota Camry. We just couldn't be well enough alone. Listen carefully. There's only time to tell you twice. McDonald's has bacon, bacon, double, double cheeseburgers. Sizzling hickory smoked bacon, golden melted cheese, and a delicious double layer of juicy beef on a sesame seed bun. One taste, and you'll do a double take, take. McDonald's bacon, bacon, double, double cheeseburger. Come in on the double, because they're going once, going twice. You'll love, love the change at McDonald's. You probably think it's too early to start thinking about a new Arctic Cat snowmobile. Yep. Well, it's not. In fact, they're arriving at your dealer right now. And while you might want to wait until winter to ride them, it pays to buy your new Arctic Cat right now. Buy a new Arctic Cat now and get $300 in extras from participating dealers. John Granado's here with sports. The Packers are hoping they find things to their liking in uh, the West Coast. Hopefully huh? they'll like that weather better than sunny Miami. Well, I, I don't <laughs> think it'll be as muggy anyway. Let's hope not. No, yeah, <laughs> two straight <laughs> weeks of muggy weather. Tampa Bay, you remember, it was real That's bad, right too. Here. And now another hot day is going to be in L.A. The 1-3 Packers are four-and-a-half-point underdogs to the 1-3 Rams this Sunday. Left tackle Ken Rutgers won't be there Sunday to help out. Billy Yard will get the start. Louis Cheek, just off injured reserve, will back him up. Now, if the Packers are going to have any chance at leaving L.A. with a win, that offensive line will have to have a big game. The Packers' running attack has been anemic, which hurts the passing game. But don't write to Lindy and tell him negative stuff like that. You can, but it's a waste of time. He won't read it. My secretary goes through all my mail. She's been instructed since three years ago that if there's a negative comment in there, trash it. I don't, I don't even read them. I don't even answer those letters. The, the, there, but I'll tell you this, there's a lot of people out there that have been very supportive. The mail that I do answer on Friday is positive uh, because that's the only, I'm sure the other stack is rather thick, but I don't see it. Hopefully there won't be any negative letters after Sunday's game. The moral is don't write negative stuff to the coach. To baseball, now the Brewers may be out of the pennant race, but they can sure have an effect on it this weekend. The Red Sox are in town just two and a half out of first heading into the action. The Red Sox led 2-1 when the Brewers exploded for five in the fifth. Greg Vaughn ties the game at two. Then Dante Bichette with a two-run triple here. That made it 5-2. to two. The Brewers go on to beat the Red Sox 7-5 the final. The Red Sox now three and a half behind because the Blue Jays were 7-2 winners in Minnesota. Excuse me, in Toronto against Minnesota. 7-2 the final. The Mariners and White Sox 8-8 in the ninth. Elsewhere, the Yankees shut out Cleveland. Baltimore over Detroit 9-7. The Angels lose to the Royals, 4-1 the final. Texas leads Oakland in the fourth. Meanwhile, in the National League, the Atlanta Braves started the evening two games out in the West, and they fell behind the Astros early. Craig Biggio with the triple into the corner. That scores Steve Finley. Biggio would come home on Jeff Bagwell's single, 2-0 Astros. But look at this. The Braves have just come up with four runs in the eighth inning. They lead 4-2. Now, they started the day two games back. If they win, Los Angeles wins. They'll still be two out. Los Angeles has the early lead. The Padres over the Reds, 8-3. The Expos bomb the Pirates, 12-8. The Phillies lose to the Mets, 6-4. The Cardinals over the Cubs. 5-4. to four. One last note, the Ryder Cup today in South Carolina. Uh, the U.S. has a 4.5 to 3.5 lead. Their first lead after day one in four years. Not bad. And you'll be back mm. later. That's right. Okay. With the fifth quarter. Okay. All right. Now, you know, old trains are always an attraction, but how about one filled with hundreds of toys? Jack Jones takes us to the tracks in Menominee, Michigan to see the art train and its treasures of childhood. Six. It is the country's only museum on rails. So when the art train pulls into town, children of all ages line up to see what's inside. So come on in and look around and see what you can find. For 20 years, the art train has crisscrossed the country, literally riding the rails to communities who might normally never see exhibits of this quality. We get to go to some cities who have no exposure to culture activities, no museums perhaps, and we come there, they're the only thing they get to see is us. That makes you feel good that you've helped out people and uh, maybe made their day a little better. The art train changes exhibits every couple of years, and if these fourth graders are the critics, this year's is another crowd pleaser. Toys. 
and we're not just playing tiddlywinks. Cool, that's awesome. 300 toys in all, from teddy bears to Buck Rogers, Cupid to Chatty Cathy and Charlie McCarthy. My dad has one of those. Your but my mom has a very, very good There are familiar games and faces from the recent past. This is my Hi. Hi. And oddities from the 1800s, like this checkerboard game of life, whose categories hardly seem like fun. Poverty or Congress? Or how about marriage as a metaphor for winning in matrimony or old maid? There are even displays you can play with, which makes this train the ticket for all ages. Late 20s and early 30s, some of our first wind-up toys, like we have here, uh, the car with the trailer behind. It really brings back memories. Before this year's tour ends, the art train will visit 25 cities in seven states. Three railroad cars never made so many so happy. Shirley Temple! Okay. Mm. I think adults would enjoy it just as much. Yep, if you can't go to the museum, the museum will come, come to, to you. you. That's right. <laughs> now, the art train is open to the public tomorrow and Sunday from 10 to 6. And Monday from noon to 6, it's at Doobie Park in Menominee. Well, still ahead, just one more frosty night. So they say, but don't despair. John Chandig says after that, it should warm up a bit. His weather's next. Portions of tonight's news are brought to you by your local Ford dealer. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to drive Chevys. Please let them grow up right, drive in a new Ford. They'll be good guys, successful and such. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to drive Chevys. They'll never leave home, they're always alone. They will have no one to love. Mamas, don't let this JVC forehead Hi-Fi VCR with remote digital tracking is expensive, $449. But don't buy it. Till Sunday, it's yours at American. This CD home stereo, $529, includes a JVC forehead Hi-Fi VHS. This Alpine car stereo, $399, includes a JVC forehead Hi-Fi VHS. This pair of recliners, $399 for two. Or this butcher block dining set, $499, includes a JVC forehead Hi-Fi VHS. You really do get a JVC forehead Hi-Fi video recorder with thousands of items at American. Look around America, tell me what is there. On the ground, America, seems like everywhere. Every day we throw away a little of ourselves. It's time to care, pitch in and share. You know we can help recycle America. Don't just throw it all away. Being good neighbors, we drop by our competitors for breakfast. We noticed right away that the Belgian waffles we serve at Perkins are bigger and fluffier than theirs. Our Out too. Theirs weren't. We serve unlimited cups of delicious coffee. They don't do that either. So guys, let's get together again. But please, can we do it at our place? And now, for a limited time, try our three-egg ham and cheese omelet with buttermilk pancakes or toast for only $3.49. Only at Perkins. You're watching The Source. WLUK News 11 tonight. Well, John Chandick, Mr. Cool, is offering <laughs> us a warm-up. Yeah, we like this forecast. This sounds very good. <laughs> yeah, I think. You know, I'm not sure. You know, with the well, frost. What, are you changing your mind now? No, no. You didn't I'm, change the weekend no, forecast. I, I'm not exact, <laughs> no, I didn't change it, but I'm not exactly sure that frost is in everybody's picture. Well, I mean, but it's going to yeah. warm up tomorrow. I agree. All right, you're always looking ahead, and that's what we should do. Menasha, oh, look at that fountain there. They might have an ice rink growing around there this, <laughs> this evening because temperatures are dropping rather quickly in Menasha and throughout northeastern Wisconsin. 34 degrees. That's the temperature at this hour in Green Bay. The relative humidity at 89 percent. The air is calm. We don't have any winds, and that's one of the reasons why the temperature is plummeting at this hour. The pressure, 30.21 inches, it's going up. High today, only 53 degrees. We should have been around 66. That's how much we've been cheated now for the past few days. And the low temperature, it's got a little asterisk beside it because we hit a record low at 29. And it was 30 was the old record, and that was set back in 19. 
1942. No rainfall. There were a few clouds around, but that's it. Let's take a look at what we have in the satellite picture because there is plenty, plenty of clear skies all over the state of Wisconsin. And with, again, the lighter winds, temperatures are dropping. The air is dry, dropping so much so that they already are well below freezing throughout the Upper Peninsula, down to 27 at Marquette, 30 at Houghton. You saw our temperature of 34 here, 31 degrees at Ironwood. Then you go farther to the south, not quite as cool, but temperatures will be dropping all over. It's still 44 up at Kelly Lake. Our WeatherNet observer, Joe Klazuski, he must be one of the few guys that is not watching football this Friday, but he told me that it was still kind of warm up in Kelly Lake, but temperatures are dropping rather quickly too. It was 44 about an hour ago. When all of this goes into motion, you will see we've got the clear skies right over Wisconsin. And for the most part tonight, that's the way they will stay. There are a couple of areas of cloudiness moving from the northwest our way, so there could be a little bit of well, cloudiness mixed in with the sunshine during the day tomorrow, but there is a fair weather high pressure system that is just hanging tough right over our state, and that will stay in place for the next 24 hours. So that means, again, don't worry about rain over the weekend. This fair weather high is going to hold its ground. If anything, it'll slowly weaken and move off to the east, and then what happens? Well, we start looking farther off to the west. The next storm system is still way, way out there, out in British Columbia. It'll take a while before it gets here, but before it does on Monday to give us some rain, slowly but surely we start to get a little red, not in the eye, but a little red higher in the thermometer, and that's just about what everybody will be happy to see. For tonight, though, it goes that way. Under the clear skies, it will be cold. Frost is likely with the low temperatures between 25 and 30 degrees. Incidentally, if we get to 27, we'll tie another record low. That's what's on the books for tomorrow morning back in 76. Light variable winds. Then, for tomorrow, sunshine and clouds. A nice mix. The high a couple of degrees warmer, 55 to 60. Still light variable winds. Sunday, sunshine and clouds. Warmer, 60 to 65. The trend is right, right? Up in the UP, partly cloudy, frost, freezing conditions likely. Low temperatures near 30 or even down into the mid-20s. Then for tomorrow, a mix of sunshine and clouds. The high temperature, 50 to 55. Had enough of the forecast? Look, I'll give you another one. This time, all the way through October. The average now, the computers have said, what do you expect? Below normal temperatures for October. That would be two months in a row if it does turn out to be that way. By the way, when we do have both September and October being below normal, that's a good indicator that the win winter temperatures may be that way, too. Oh, boy. That would be scary, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you don't want to look ahead. Okay. <laughs> Still ahead, more high school football action than any mere mortal could tackle. Thank goodness we have John Granado to get us through the fifth quarter. He's coming up next. It's Claire, it's the Crusher. There's too much food in these Encore Salisbury steaks. Tell them, Crusher. How can I eat all these juicy, charbroiled steaks in rich, beefy gravy? But Crusher, Encore is a two-pound family-size entree. I don't have a family. I do. <laughs> and we love Encore. We'll be over at six tonight. Really? You will? Al, about this Encore veal parmigiana. Five tomorrow? Oh. oh. For tasting more, it's Encore. There's a great used steak on the grill at Ponderosa. Tender, juicy. It's our new extra cut ribeye. It comes with our all-you-can-eat grand buffet, including hot appetizers, salads, and the new pasta bar. Ponderosa's new extra cut ribeye dinner. The ribeye, a baked potato, the grand buffet, and the Sunday bar, just $5.99. Unbelievable. Ponderosa Steakhouse. America's Steakhouse. When you buy one of our high-performance aggressor batteries with your Marathon credit card, you'll get a real charge out of it because you get 0% financing and six months to pay. There's more than one way to fill up at a Marathon station because we have more than gasoline. And don't even have my own room. Uh, do you think we'll qualify? Let me work on it. I'll call you. Evening, Mr. Ambrose. Hi, Fred. Hi, honey. I've got a stop to make on the way home. There's no feeling like security. The fifth quarter is brought to you by Vans Honda Mitsubishi. 
and by Taco Bell. Welcome to the fifth quarter, everyone. A beautiful night for football. Let's get right to the highlights and begin with a big matchup in the Fox River Valley. Fond du Lac struggling this year with a 1-3 record against a surprisingly good 4-0 Green Bay West team. Last year, Fond du Lac embarrassed West. The Wildcats didn't forget it tonight. Two minutes into the game, West Kevin Suyantek returns the punt. Nice blocking along the sideline. He goes all the way, 66 yards, 7-0 West leads. Six minutes later, a handoff. Yeah, going to be a nice little run here, right? Yeah, nice little run. 88 yards. Bill Stuber goes all the way. Is there time? Oh, look at this. The players are hitting our cameraman, trying to get into the action. Green Bay West remains unbeaten. 21-17 the final tonight over Fond du Lac. Meanwhile, Green Bay East, 0-2 in conference, hosted Southwest, 1-1 in the Fox River Valley. East QB Bill Borowski keeps the ball a 15-yard run to the one-yard line. Two plays later, Sean Deere in for the TD. A pass to Josh Jock. Sets up another East TD by Sean Deere. The East Red Devils go on to win this one, 26-0 the final. Now let's go to the Fox Valley Association. Appleton West is the team to beat this year. They came in 4-0, but Kimberly wasn't far behind at 3-1. Great matchup in the land of the papermakers. Defense was the name of the game for most of the first half as both teams had trouble moving the ball, but it was Kimberly who managed to convert a couple of big plays into points. Quarterback B.J. Hoffman went to the air, found an open Jose Banda deep into the terrorist territory. Very next play, Milt Kemp. Broke one right up the middle and into the end zone. The papermakers took a 7-0 lead. Look at this. They go on to beat Appleton West, handing West their first loss of the year. 20-7 to the final. Meanwhile, in Appleton tonight, East met Colcona. Both teams hoping to stay close to the front runners. The Erie Moon inspired the Ghost, who added to a six-point lead in the third quarter. Matt Vanderzan and took the ball in the reverse, scooted 45 yards down the sidelines. Colcona in charge, 19-7. A little later, Appleton East was close to pay dirt, but Ernie Gonzalez's fumble was recovered on the three-yard line. Mike Millis of Kaukauna. Kaukauna holds on to win it. 19-7, the final there. Now, not every game has conference title implications. Some are just great rivalries, like in Oshkosh, where West met North. North came in with two losses. West had three. Early on, all the luck went West's way. North fumbles. Oshkosh West recovers at North 27. Four plays later, West fakes the field goal. Travis Heining decides to go it alone. Look at this nice run, first down West. That set up John LaFontaine from six, yard up, six yards out. Nice sequence, but that's all West could muster tonight as North moves to 3-2 and two on the year with the 20-7 to seven win. Now, a couple old rivals went at it tonight. Nita, the Nita Rockets and Menasha Blue Jays. Menasha led 9-7 at the half, but the Rockets came back in the third. Chad Beavers on the reception sets up John Jock. The quarterback sneak 14-9 Nita in the fourth. Nita adds to their lead. Scott Van Lynn bulls his way in. Nice rhyme. Nina wins it. 21-9 the final there. Now, there aren't many conferences around the state that can boast two undefeated teams, but that was the case in the Packer land with both Sturgeon Bay and Southern Door coming in with perfect 4-0 records. Sturgeon Bay had the tough task, though, of trying to stay unbeaten in Kiwani, but the good D helps no matter where you are. Brandon Robinson recovers the Kiwani fumble, which will set up, which will set up this. The good ball movement fakes out everybody, even our photographer. Sturgeon Bay leads 7-0, but look at this. Kiwani at home beats Sturgeon Bay, their first loss of the year, 15-7 the final there. To Algoma now, where Southern Door hoped to keep their record perfect. If it wasn't easy, it sure looked like it. Southern Door's Craig on with the perfect pass. Great catch by C. Birmingham. 27-0 so Southern Door, but the Eagles weren't through. Bob Adamoff crushes through, 34-0 right now. Southern Door, they go on to win it, 34-0 the final. Elsewhere in the Packer land, O'Connell Falls shuts out Sevastopol Gibraltar, 42-0. And O'Connell in overtime beats Luxembourg Casco, 12-6 the final there. All right, now let's check out in on the other scores, starting with the Bay Conference and another undefeated team, West Pier, had to travel to Marinette tonight. And the Marines beached West Pier. West Pier no longer undefeated, 26-22 the final. Elsewhere in the Bay. Seymour over Bayport, 43-13 the final. De Pere beats New London. It was homecoming tonight, 30-20. Ashwabanon 
Only their second win of the year, 32-12 the final there. <clears throat> In the central Wisconsin, Tigerton over Almond Bancroft, 38-14. Iola Scandinavia, a big winner tonight. M&O Conference, Wasaki, 13-0 winners. Gillett wins as well over Suring. More scores. Lena downs Coleman, 46-8. Niagara over Krivitz, 25-7. In the Olympian, Denmark, a two-point winner over Brilliant. Freedom wins it by four over Valders. In the EWC, Two Rivers shuts out New Holstein. Chilton over Kiel. Manawa downs Amherst by 10. Rosholt over Wild Rose. Elko a winner tonight, as was Howard's Grove. Mayville, a big winner over Laconia. Amro shuts out Ripon. Wittenberg, Burnhamwood, 26-12 over Marion. Why are we got Fremont, 26-20 in a good battle with Bonduel. Notre Dame, 39-0 over Lakeland. Manitowoc Roncalli, a big winner over Appleton Xavier, 15-3 the final. Okay, thanks for watching the fifth quarter. We'll be back in a minute to wrap this edition up of News 11 tonight. The fifth quarter was brought to you by Vans Honda Mitsubishi and by Taco Bell. Follow me for 25 reasons to come and shop at Vans Honda Mitsubishi. Here are six experienced salespeople and one great manager arranging super deals for you. That's seven. He'll help you finance your new or used car. They'll keep the paperwork moving smoothly. That's another three. You can keep your car maintained with Vans 13 factory train mechanics and parts and service. Here are Pete and Bill. They're great at treating customers like royalty. Stop in and see us today. We'll show you even more reasons to buy your next car at Vans Honda Mitsubishi. <laughs> Marty Spatel's wardrobe, courtesy of Casual Corner, in Green Bay and Appleton. What's America saying about the great taste of Wells Light 85 non-fat yogurt? It's a hit from coast to coast. No fat here. It keeps me on my toes. Wells Light 85, generous chunks of real fruit and 100% Nutrisweet make a delicious creamy yogurt that's fat-free, cholesterol-free, sugar-free, and less than 85 calories. Light 85, the taste that has America talking. Now the great taste of Wells Light 85 has a fresh new look. Pick some up today. Wells Blue Bunny, the flavor of the heart. Happy trails to Here are tonight's winning super cash numbers from The Source, WLUK News 11. Are you cooled off yet? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> All you have to do is step outside. Feel fine. You just see them steaming out there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll talk to you in a minute way. again, though, so cool off for a second while here. Shall we talk to John first, though? We'll give well, you another chance to catch your breath? Why not? Let's also talk about the fact that it's cold out there right now. But the best part about what's going on is that we'll end up having warmer temperatures into the weekend. Here's a quick look. Saturday, 55 to 60, a couple of degrees warmer, quite a bit of sunshine. Same story on Sunday, 60 to 65. The trend is right, and by Monday, 65 could even hit 70. Don't count on it, though, but in any case, that's our best shot at some showers. And then on Tuesday, we go back to about a 55 to 60 degree range and no rain. So again, a little bit of an up and down swing, but the upswing is good for the weekend. Yeah, and the record Good we're shooting timing. for tonight is Tonight what? is 27 degrees. It was set in 1976. I hope we don't break. But we're yeah, I hope not too. Yeah, it's 34 yeah, well, already. Not, yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be right. two in a row if we do. Yeah, you know, yeah, sure. something. Cold mm -hmm. night at the football game. That's right. Boy. But we got more football tonight, tomorrow, no question about it. More high school games, and the Badgers look to go 3-0. and oh. Think about that for a little while. The Badgers 3-0. Oh. It'll be the first time in a long time that they could do it, if they could do it. And Jeff Conner will have uh, the highlights of that and, of course, the high school action. Mm -hmm. And then we got the Packers on Sunday. And our picks. I like the Packers. I, you know, I don't want to be a homer or anything, but I think the Packers are ready to explode offensively, and their defense is just too much for Jim Everett. He, he's terrible this year. Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's put it we Thanks for watching our news tonight. Now stay tuned for the Tonight Show.